Robert C. Roman. And you are dressed as a... A mad scientist. As what? A mad scientist. You are a mad scientist. What is that in your hand? This, Explain this is that my toy. favorite Christmas present. And who gave that to you? This was actually given, given to me by another author, uh -huh. Dana Marie Bell. Wow. Yes, and uh, it's actually functional. Functional? What does it shoot? Oh, oh, neat! That is a cool one. It's fantastic. My son's gonna want one of those. He collects weapons, but okay. So you're an author. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and why you're at Dorian's Parlor? Well, um, I'm an author of fiction. I write uh, steampunk, urban fantasy, uh, a bit of romance. Um, I write a variety of things, and of course, since I write steampunk, I'm here. I've given readings here before. Uh -huh. Reading, okay. They're just fantastic people here. So this is a great. And look at this guy. Yeah, you come out to Dorian's. Is this uh, every month? Every month. And how many months has it been going on here? I believe that they first started it up last summer, but I could be wrong. I did see it out for June. I think I saw it all commercial for that. The uh, first time I came was actually in November, and of course I did a uh, reading in December. I'm back here this month. Next month, I believe they take a one month break, and then we'll be back in March. Mm -hmm. And I may be doing another reading. I would love you to do a reading on our, t on our TV show. I would love to do that. I would absolutely love it. We normally feature mostly musicians, but any any local artists. And you're also a teacher, I understand. Yes, I am. I teach at River Wilson High School. Over and you teach Canada. what? I teach biology and life sciences. You don't teach literature. Actually, you're a scientist. You are a mad scientist. How about that? And I also am the uh, mentor, I suppose, for the National Novel Running Month Young Writers Program at the school. I have five young novelists. I was going to say, how many are in your group? Five young novelists. We've each written a novel. We're currently going through beta edits with them. And that is so exciting. Uh, I actually have a few professional editors lined up. There are five actual authors, student authors, in Camden, New Jersey. And that's probably absolutely what could not have happened without you, I'm sorry. And, and, and so you've got to be so proud of yourself. I'm as, proud a, of as a fellow really. teacher, I'm just gushing right now. I'm Look at how happy a person you are. You're teaching Camden. I try. It's wow. Actually, it can't be any other way. Yeah, I'm a happy guy. And so, yes, you definitely are. You've got a great way about you. I can't wait to get you on our show. And, and okay, I just want to get another shot of that gun. End of the book. Uh, yes. It's a little black book. I know book. Whose name is in that book? I just put my name in there. That's right. And we're going to definitely see you again. Have you been interviewed by Lovey? Uh, by who? By Lovey Crazy. There's him right there. Have you met this? Have you met this character? He's another author, but he's a steampunk author. He's also a teacher at Woodward, Camden, New Jersey, and he has. High school students that actually have written full novels, which is amazing in Camden. This is Lovey Crazy from MGP. He's amazing. Weaponry, robotics, and danger. And do you invent danger? Absolutely. I you definitely life. create it, that's for sure. And what kind of weapon is this? Huh? Oh, this is a... Um... Well, check that out. This is your basic arm-mounted Gatling gun. And does it shoot anything? Oh, yes. This is a 30 caliber. There's Pointing it right at me. 30 caliber, and shoot 30 caliber what? With built-in fencing foil, I plan on installing a flip-out bayonet. However, this is a bit more uh, practical. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. I gotta get a picture of that. Mad You're a mad scientist. We just had an adventure that invented an electric chair that becomes a robot. We had another inventor, I just said, who invents electric chairs to become robots. Oh, okay. Yeah, he had that Gatlin gone, he's walking around with it. Oh, yeah. So, um, so are you part of one of those electric chairs, or are you a solo act here? What's on your solo? back? Solo? Oh, what's on my back? Is it aluminum drive? What's on my back is an aluminum drive. Okay. Unfortunately, it's almost out of power at this moment. What power is that? Powered by aluminum, of course. By what? Aluminum. 
It's a rare energy source. Is that like PBR? No, not quite like PBR, but aluminum is an interesting power source. So where do you find it? Where do you find underground, obviously. And how do you farm it? How do you farm it? Very carefully. What kind of what kind of an instrument would you use to extract it? You would have to use um, tweezers. Tweezers? Yes. Just tweezers or very long tweezers? Um, just small tweezers. It would be found as like very small ore. Oh, so it's a solid. So like you can, well, it's solid, but you have to basically mine out the stone, break it into small pieces. And why do you use that? Tweezers to collect the pieces. Okay, so no, wait, it's powered by what? What does it do? What's it do? Yeah. This is just a drive. In fact, it's not connected what? yet. Yeah. It does provide some extra power to my Tesla arm. Yeah. But as it is now, oh. as it is now, wow. also with its power source being low, Tesla arm is mainly powered by this aluminum device right now. Wow. Is so it right now it's activated. Allow me to calibrate it. You shake it. We, you know what? You need to shake this man's hand. Yes, you do. You need to shake it. I need to shake it. Look at those! Those be yours! Where did you get your teeth? It's a bed! Oh! Uh oh, oh, it'd be bad. Now, okay, we have this great weapon, and now look at his thing. How can we combine the two of these to do something? Oh my lord, okay, what does this do? Steampunk. <laughs> it's Tim Allen Steampunk. <laughs> now your change should be able to be She's a tool time girl. Tool time girl. Tool time girl. Tool time she time cut girl. through anything. Man, it's good already. It's already did that. Now. Now I'm just wasting time. We can power. use that to farm your stuff. Then maybe I. Nassau Chainsaw, the band, might actually want to use that in the ride. Well, you know this kid's, this plays music. Oh, no, it does not. What kind of music? Yeah. Steampunk, my bad. It has an iPod dock. It has an iPod dock. Get the hell out. Where's the iPod dock? Oh, she's going to put on Neil Diamond. Yes. Oh, my goodness. She's going to slip. It's going to end up being Justin Bieber. Oh! Well, you know, we got some good... Jimmy Dorsey, Guy Lombardo, Glenn Miller. Glenn Miller? It's in the mood. In the mood with yes. Glenn Miller. In the mood. I'm good, aren't I? I used to work at a retirement home. Very good. You got some, got some Guy Lombardo on there, too. Very cool. So, uh, if you got an iPod, Doc, what else is on your iPod? Um, a lot. A lot? Yes, a lot. Oh, too much to list. I'd like to just push yeah. shuffle and see what comes up. I do not think that would be wise in this venue. Okay, we will shut out do that. <laughs> where are you from? Philly. You're from Philly, and where are you from? Same. Same from Philly? And are you, uh, and, and is this, uh, you come out to the event every month? 
Well, this is only our second. Your second time? It's my first. I'm from, the, from 191 TV, by the way. Putting a little together, a little montage, trying to get more people aware of the event. This is so cool. Thank you. Wow. Do you invent anything else? Well, I've done one other prop, but it's not good for me. And what is it? It's a massive shuriken. And a massive what? Shuriken. It's a Japanese weapon. And what does it look like? What does it do? Looks like a Japanese star, except it's extremely large, okay. red and white, and you throw it. You do martial arts, don't you? My other life. What? My other life. His other life. <laughs> a giant Japanese, a giant throwing star. Very good. You, you don't actually hurt anybody, do you? No. I didn't think not so. Yet. Yeah, not yet. You better watch out. You better watch out. Why should I watch out? He's my butler. Uh, butler! Oh my gosh, it is a butler. Are you for hire? Can we steal no. your butler? No, absolutely not. <laughs> my. We gotta get a picture of this here. Okay, we have a, we have the uh, the uh, butler is a maniacal maniac with a chainsaw. <laughs> and the madam, what do you call yourself, Ms. Do you have a name? Me. Yes. I'm Madam Red. Oh, you're Madam Red. I would have never guessed. And where did you? Your hair is just wonderful. Thank you. Did you see? Did you see the hair they have over there on that that one vendor? I tried. I tried on a red wig, but you look much better. You are the madam. I also made everything I'm wearing. Oh, you do. Do you have a business? Oh my god. Wow. Okay, we're gonna get one picture of you guys. And thank you very much for showing us your weapon and your and your skills. It's very amazing. Well now he can go into Camden, New Jersey and not worry. <laughs> Look at that mess. Wow, now Ian that's steampunk. That that's punked out. Wow, didn't you made that? Yeah, How long did it take you? I don't know. I start. How about I take it off? Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> look at this. Look at your boots. So what does a boot do? Nothing. I walk around in it though. <laughs> what is it supposed to look like it can do? Uh, just be kind of like hydraulically powered, supercharged, and pressurized gaskets on it and all that and neat stuff. And if it did so. work, what, what would be the purpose? Leaping. You would leap! I would leap. With one leg. Like Spring Heel Jack. Now I'll build another <laughs> one eventually, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Right. And uh, you're from? Uh, just outside of Philadelphia. Just outside of Philadelphia? Yeah, and do you have any other special skills you want to tell us about? <laughs> oh, that must be your wife. None that I want to tell <laughs> you She's about. laughing all the way out the door. No, it's just, uh, Are you not, overcompensating for something, sir? Look at all just, this stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah my, my lack of uh, actual steam power gear. It's like, yeah. No stuff that looks like it. Very cool. And even ventures. I've been ventures. It was great. My first time here. Great. That's Thank you so like, much. You know, it's great to be here. It's a great community. And it's fun yes, to build it sure things is. that don't actually have to work. So. It'd be cool if they did, though. They do. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll have to come up with something next time, actually, like shoot smoke out.